welcome to this episode of the weekly college football pre-snap. Let's take a look at last week's games, and then let's see what's happening this weekend. Last weekend in Waco, the number one team in the nation, the Kansas State Wildcats, took on the Baylor Bears, who were unranked at the time. Colin Klein was the quarterback, as usual, for the Kansas State Wildcats, but he turned the ball over three times, which is very uncharacteristic of him, and that actually helped the Baylor Bears win this game 52-24. to Up in Eugene, the number two team in the nation, the Oregon Ducks, at the time, as I said, at the time, took on a number 13 ranked Stanford Cardinal team, and this game was back and forth the whole way. It was very defensive-minded. The Oregon Ducks, who averaged 55 points a game during the regular season, were held to 14 points, and that would not be enough. They could not fight off the Cardinal, and they lose this game 17-14. to At home, Notre Dame took care of Wake Forest 38-0, and they are now the number one team in the nation thanks to the Kansas State and Oregon loss. Alabama is now back in the BCS championship picture as they took care of their opponent very easily, 48 to nothing at home, and they are now the number two team in the nation. Down in the Georgia Dome, Georgia Southern racked up 302 rushing yards against the Bulldogs, but that would not be enough. They only amounted to 16 total passing yards, and they would get blown out in this game, 45 to 14, and Georgia moves up to number three in the rankings for this weekend. All right, now to this weekend's game. Number one team in the nation, Notre Dame. Notre Dame, the first time they're ranked number one in BCS history. And, of course, the BCS did not come along until just a couple of years ago. So this is definitely a very proud moment for the Fighting Irish alumni. They are taking on USC. Matt Barkley for USC. The quarterback is out. I do believe that won't matter, though. I really think USC upsets the number one team in the nation. I think they win this game. I don't think they win handily, but I think they squeak it out probably 28-21. I think they win by a touchdown, though. I really don't think Notre Dame's offense is very good. All right, now, Alabama's number two because of what happened last week, and they will be playing their rival, Auburn. But Auburn is struggling, and they have not won a single game in the SEC this year. And I think Gene Chizik, the Auburn's coach, is going to be out the door after this season. And I think Alabama just kind of adds to even a more, I don't know how you put it. Um, I think they promote that decision by Auburn, and they just blow them out 56 nothing. I mean, it, it really, Auburn's just terrible. All right, a lot of rivalry games going on. Georgia is number three right now. They will be playing their rival, Georgia Tech, who's unranked. They are struggling right now, and I think Georgia really just takes care of business this week, and they just completely destroy the Yellow Jackets. I predict this one to not even be close. It's going to be 42-20 to in favor of the Bulldogs. Another upset I have in my picture, number four, Florida, is going to go to Tallahassee to play Florida State. Florida State's a very good team. E.J. Manuel is a very good quarterback for the Seminoles, and I think the number 10 team in the nation, Florida State, upsets number four, Florida. I really don't think Florida has a good offense, and I think that Florida State wins this one probably 35-21. to 21. All right, finishing out the top five teams, the Oregon Ducks will be playing, playing their rival, Oregon State, in the Civil War. Oregon State ranked the highest it's probably ever been ranked when they play Oregon, but I don't think that's going to matter. I think Oregon redeems themselves from last week. Their offense starts clicking, and I don't really think Oregon State's defense can hang on, and I think Oregon wins this one big, 56-35. to 35. All right, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is what you've been waiting for. Bedlam, Norman. Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. Oklahoma is ranked number 13. They dropped actually one spot after their pitiful performance against West Virginia where they let one player rush for over 330 yards. I think Mike Stoops will kind of tighten that up in this game. And the number 21 ranked Oklahoma State Cowboys are looking to keep their offense going as they blew out Texas Tech last week in a game where actually J.W. Walsh came in and actually rushed for a touchdown. And I think the Walshing machine will be playing the belldozer, and I think it's going to be a very interesting matchup indeed. And you know, I'm gonna save my pick for the last scene in this in this episode. I'm gonna I'm not gonna say anything. No score, no nothing. And we're just gonna keep it at that. All right, and Tulsa's gonna play SMU this weekend. I think Tulsa takes care of business in this one, 35 to 14. Just throwing that out there as we end this show. Thank you for tuning in this week. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm sure everybody had a wonderful day. Leftovers galore, I'm sure. Tune in next week, and I'm going to give you my pick right now. I'm right picking Oklahoma State in this one. I think they upset OU at home for the first time since 2002. Oklahoma State wins this one 35-28 in a shootout, and I don't think OU's defense shows up. 
Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.